Polar tracking with polar snaps. We can use polar snaps along with polar tracking. In this case, we get our angle increment and we'll get a length increment with our polar snaps. Now, we want to make sure our uh, polar tracking is on and I'm going to right click and you'll see that I have it set to 45 degrees. I'm going to change it to 30 and next we want to go to our snap and grip tab uh, and remember we can go down to either snap or grid either one of these and right click and in here we have our grid and we have our snap. I'm going to turn my snap on and right now the settings are at every half inch. That'll be fine. And then I say, well, wait a minute. I don't want to do equal X and Y spacings. I want to turn that off. And then I want to come down here and actually do polar snapping. But I can't turn it on. That's because down here I have it grid snapped rectangular. I need to change it to polar snap. That takes this off right and gives this polar spacing the only one that's on so in this case I'm gonna set this to 5 or half inch so 0.5 I'm gonna say OK now that means I'm gonna be able to snap every half of an inch basically so I'm gonna go up I'm gonna start the line command and I'm gonna pick and you can see as I can go along I can just snap them every half inch I can pick five. Now I can go up on a 30 degree angle and I can pick two and a half and I can come back here and I can pick at my five and I come down on an angle and I can pick at my two and a half. And I didn't even have to do any direct distance entry. I could just go along just snapping my way around. Let's do another example. Um, oops, sorry, oops, sorry. Uh, I, I want this on and I want to go to 45 degrees and now I want to go down here to the line I start the line command I drag it over I say I want it to four inches and oh, let's do something different uh, let's go down and right click on my snap and let's change it to one this time alright now let's try it boink I pick the start line go one two three four you know whoop, one two three four I go up at a 30 degree angle, right? No, I go up at a 40 degrees, 45 degree angle, sorry. And I pick on two, I drag across, uh, I go across four units, I drag down on the 45 degree angle, and I pick, and I hit enter. So I just drew two parallelograms with my polar tracking, but this time I put my snap on. I went to my snap settings and I made sure my snap settings were polar snap and I set them to the increment I want. Now, remember, here's one gotcha. When you're done, you always want to go back to the regular grid. Uh, this gets a lot of people that can't figure out why their snaps are not working uh, after they've done this. So I'd always set them back when you're done doing the polar snap back to a regular snap because that's probably what you're expecting most of the time. So we just did polar tracking with polar snaps.